Hey everybody, Tiny Texter here. Um, I want to talk to everybody about, uh, I'm going to be doing a tattoo here in just a few minutes. Um, first, I have a cigarette. Um, um, I smoke when I tattoo. Um, I, I smoke all the time. I smoke camel wides. I love them. I enjoy them. Um, I'll smoke until the day I die, probably. Um, that's just me. But um, I want to show you guys. Uh, this is a stencil that I printed off with uh, a dot matrix printer. It's an Epson LQ570+. Plus. Um, I have a video of it online. And I just want to show you the quality of it. It printed it off in five minutes. Well, not even five minutes, like three minutes. And this is the other side of it here. The quality of the other video isn't that great, but look at the other side. I mean, it's exactly the same. Um, there, it's probably even better on the other side. But you can see how good it does. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to put those stencils on so that it's almost impossible to get them off. Um, I think you guys will really like that. You can scrub and scrub on them and they don't come off. And you can use even cheap stencil stuff. Um, I use Tattoo Stencil Magic. Actually, I've been trying to get to use it up, and man, this bottle will last forever. Jeez, crazy. Um, I don't know. It, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, the little trick that I show that I'll show you. You can't wipe it off. So, I mean, it's up to you on what you use. Um, I saw it on another video. The guy did it, and. Holy cow, it just stays on there forever. So, yeah, fantastic. Um, but I'm going to do a tattoo here in just a few. Um, I, I I know you guys have seen my chest. <laughs> and, and it's kind of funny. I bought this Eternal. It's called Eternal Glow Tattoo Ink. And I got red and green. And... It was supposed to glow in the dark. And I was like, holy cow, glow in the dark ink. How can you go wrong with that, right? I, I'm going to make my tiny texture here. So, anyway, the glow ink um, and uh, <laughs> it don't work. Uh, don't buy the glow ink. The eternal glow tattoo ink. Don't buy it. It don't. It don't glow. Um, so, uh, just wanted to let you know about that. Um, <laughs> I use eternal, eternal ink. I do use that. Um, it comes with a little ball in it. It does work. Use that. Um, it's really good ink. Um, I'd swear by it. Um, a little elephant here. Comes out really good. Um, let me see here. Oh, I don't have one. Or I don't have it out here. Um, I do have some glow in the dark ink work here. Some black light, ultraviolet. From. Uh, Moms that does work really good. Um, I wouldn't get the purple. The yellow and the green work awesome. Um, excellent, excellent. They show up really good. Um, I don't know. If get that in there. Yeah, they show up really, really nice. Uh, the but now. <laughs> If you want, if you're going to do like a, a, a scary or a, a, like a 
beat up look or something like that, get the mom's purple ultraviolet ink. Um, <laughs> it, it's excellent for that. Um, it looks like it gives like a bruised, beaten look. Um, like it's really excellent for that. Um, yeah, it's perfect. Like if you want to have like that bruised, beaten, battered look, it's excellent for that. Excellent. So get mom's purple for the bruised, beaten, battered look. That's what you want to use. Um, I use uh, Starbright uh, inks. Um, I'm not saying that all of them are excellent, but they do make some good, like their yellow is an awesome color. Uh, their baby blues, some of their colors are really, really good. Um, don't, don't buy their, don't get their white. Don't get their white. Their white is no good. Not good at all. I done a snow leopard and it came out yellow. You know, cream colored. So I have a cream colored snow leopard. Sucks, but hey, it's life. That's that's what I got. Um, they do make really good specialty colors. Um, if you want to order a specialty color from them ask them for a specialty color. They do make really good specialty colors. Uh, this is a 57 Chevy Blue. Really, really nice color. Um, they do make good good specialty colors. Um, so, that's really good. Um, and I did, I did say on another video that you shouldn't use like Like tattoo shops don't wear gloves because they don't want to get their tattoo machines and stuff dirty. You know, that that was just wrong. And I shouldn't have said that because you do need to wear your gloves. You do need to use your proper equipment. You know, I do use sterile needles. I do use my gloves. Um, I, I have, you know, I do wear my gloves. I do use sterile equipment. Um, everything is clean, sterilized, everything like that. You know, make sure make sure that you use your clean equipment, everybody. You know, you don't want to you don't want to give anybody germs or diseases or anything like that. You know, um, the the alcohol I use is 93% alcohol. Um, when I clean when I clean the area up, I clean up for at least three minutes. Um, I know that seems a little repetitive. You don't want to scrub hard on it because that like tenderizes the skin. Just softly go over it. You know, um, it opens up the pores more. Um, I, I think it does a really nice job. Um, let me see here. What else? Uh, I have a little bottle of. Uh, I don't use green soap. I use antibacterial soap and water, um, distilled water. Um, I don't use tap water. I do use distilled water. Um, do not buy generic Vaseline. Don't buy generic Vaseline. Only real ba Vaseline, real Vaseline only. You buy the generic Vaseline and it leads to, to bubbled up infected stuff. Trust me. Every time that I've used generic gasoline I've ended up with a with a mess. I have every time. Every time. Um don't don't cheap out on your Vaseline. Definitely don't cheap out. Um witch hazel. I use witch hazel. Um I use it all the time. Um I always I always keep some on hand. It's cheap. I mean, you can get it at Walmart, whatever. Um, just try to keep it up. Um, I'm going to show you the trick with the uh, uh, stencil here. Let me clip this out of here really quick, and I'll show you that trick with the with the stencil. And I think you guys will like this. 
it, it's pretty cool. Let me kind of snip this out of here really quick. Okay, tiny texture here, and this is the stencil, and I cut it out, and I know it's <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell which which side is which side um, after <laughs> after you cut it out uh, from the paper um, after you use the dot matrix printer, and like I said, forty dollars for a dot matrix printer that does this this good of work is just incredible. But um, I told you that I would show you guys a trick on uh, how to put the stencil on and how to make it so that it stays on there really good. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'll put on a pair of gloves here put this stencil on and I'll put on some blue gloves do this with um, but and then I'm going to use the stencil magic here but the trick is, is now it doesn't matter how much of this stuff you guys use. I mean, just kind of spray it on there. I already, I already used the alcohol on it and everything. Um, just kind of spread it around, get it all over there. I already, I already uh, shaved the leg and everything. Just kind of spread it around there. Um, dry your hands off before you touch your stencil, though. Uh, just so that you don't uh, get it all over the place. Let it dry for a second or two. Um, you know, let it kind of sit in there for a second. Now, if you do use the dot matrix printer or you use anything, the easiest way to tell on your stencil is the shiny side of your paper is the side that goes down. So if you're looking at your paper, look and see which side is the is the shiny side, okay? The shiny side is the side that goes down to your leg or to your arm or wherever. And then make sure that you get a good placement on wherever you want to place it at. Okay? I'm going to place mine there. I'm just going to kind of place it in there. Okay? It's a good place. I like it right there. So I'm just going to kind of let it sit there. I don't want it to smear or nothing like that. So I'm going to take it off now. Um, that came out pretty good. Uh, now the trick is, is after you place it and after you do it, you have a wet, cold, paper towel, okay? Now, not dripping wet, but just a wet, cold paper towel. Just set it on there for a second. Just tap it, lift it up right away, okay? And then after you do that, have a dry paper towel. Take that dry paper towel and just press on it one more time, okay? Lift it up, and there you go. Just leave it now. Let it go just like that, and let it be that way, okay? Now let them go do whatever for however long or whatever. Now that's going to be on there for good now. Now it's going to take like a sledgehammer to get that off of there. Alright? Um, I'll show you here in just a few minutes that I'll find a place and I'll start scrubbing on it here in a minute to show you guys. But... Um, it, it'll be almost impossible to scrub that off of there. Um, uh, this little bug right here, it's kind of funny. Uh, that was with some of that glow, that glow ink, and that glow in the dark ink, and I went to test it out, 
and when I went to test it out, I dug it in too deep when I first got it, and I had just started out tattooing, and I didn't know how to do it, and I dug it in really deep, and I went in like, oh God, probably a half inch into my leg with it, and oh my gosh, it was horrible. That's why there's like this great big brown hole right in the middle there. Because I went in like a half inch. It was just horrible. Um, yeah, you don't want to, you want to really be careful what you're doing. Um, just incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Yeah, see it's already drying and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's already pretty well dry. So, yeah, it's already dried. So, I mean, um, I mean, you can see me squishing my finger in there and twisting on it there like that. I mean, you know, it. It, it's on there and you, you can't you can't wipe it off I mean I just stuck my finger on there and you know I mean I'm digging at it to wipe off that corner there and it is not coming off that corner is not coming off I mean look at me rub on that corner I mean it is not coming off there you know I mean that corner should be coming off there but I'll get this tattooed up here in just a minute. Um, I got some caps to set up and some stuff like that. So I only got like six minutes here and everything. So we'll get that all set up and get it all tattooed. What do you guys think of that? That sounds pretty damn good, don't it? Uh, it all didn't come out pretty good though. Oh well. I'll get her all tattooed up. Okay, tiny texture here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do uh, a tattoo here. My leg's falling asleep. I've had it here in the same position for a little bit now. Had to get the ink ready and my leg ready and everything like that, but been trying to find the perfect position here to try to get this going um, as you can tell the stencil still on there it's still you know not coming off you know it, it's gonna be on there forever but um, let me let me go ahead and get started on this um, I got all my ink caps set up I got the colors out that I want um, Let's go ahead and get started on this so you guys can see how to do some of this stuff. Um, I hope the lighting's right and everything like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with some lining of it and everything and we'll all go from there.
Now, I want you guys to know that you'll notice here, I'm shaking a little bit, and the whole purpose of the shading, when you go back in with your shading and everything like that, is to fix and adjust whatever you mess up on while you're going and doing this. Okay, so while you're going back in and you're doing this here, If you miss any spots, or you mess up on something, or, you know, whatever, you can go back over it, you can, you can certainly fix it back up. You know, the guys at the tattoo shops, they're not, they're not 100% perfect either. They're not, they're not fixing these things 100% themselves. You know, they're not, they're not getting these things. Okay, so anyway. Now, um, they're not, they're not getting this all exactly perfect either. You know, they're, they're messing up, they're, they're, they're quick. Put it. Go. Go. They're making their little mistakes, you know, that they have to go back through and they have to fix. And so don't worry about if you're making mistakes because you're going to go back through, you're going to fix them. You're going to find them. And that's what it's all about. Is you going and learning and fixing them. Now, I'm not saying go and do a bunch of bad work. I'm not saying that at all. Because that's not what it's about. It's not about you going and doing a bunch of bad work. Okay? Not at all. Alright? I'm not saying get out there. I'm not saying do a bunch of bad. A bunch of bad tattoos, you know. I'm saying learn what you're doing. You know? If you can go back through and you can fix whatever you're doing, that's what you want to do. But you want to be able to fix that stuff. You know, you don't want... You don't want to leave it a mess. You know, you don't want it... You don't want to leave it like a crappy piece of shit. You don't want to leave it half-assed. You don't want to leave it, you know, somehow so that, you know, somebody else has to try to fix it. You know? 
you want to leave it so that you're the one that can fix it. Because you're the one doing it. <coughs> and as long as you can fix it, that's what you want. Yeah? Look how good that's coming out. See what I'm saying? Take your time. Do good work. Go as fast as your machine will let you. take and I'll do some clubs you know why not it's on me I can to learn. And I want now this here is like a whole bunch of little tiny stuff up here. And look at this. You take your time and you do it right. You can do it. It's just you wanna you wanna take your time. And you wanna do what you wanna do what you're supposed to do. You wanna you know, it's only you that's hurting yourself. You know? go back in and we can fix all of this stuff. We can redo the lines. We can go back over them. We can make them all look better. Will that matter? Yeah. These guys think that if you go and do these lines in one line that it's got to be so perfect and everything's got to be the best and everything like that. No, it don't have to be. Do the best that you can. You can't ask for more than that. You know? Keep running out of ink on this. Boy, I'll tell ya.
Yeah, that's what we need is like a never-ending inkwell on them. <laughs> there we go. That's what we need. Like a never-ending inkwell. Let me see here. Let me look at my picture here. See, and that's what you also need is you need to keep your picture handy so that you know what, so you know what you're looking at and to see what what you're doing. Um, to make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, I'm missing a drop here in the middle, but because everything is all, uh, all messed up, I would miss that drop altogether. But actually, I think I got everything for the most part. A little wave down at the bottom, but let's kind of wipe it off here and see what we got. I don't know if it's going to look kind of like it's supposed to or not, but I guess we're going to kind of see. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> that's what we got. We got a dirty leg. That's what we got. We got a dirty leg. A dirty leg. Well, it looks like I'm just about out of time on this video, but. Oops. Camera fell over. Actually, it looks like it came out pretty good for the most part. Looks like it's supposed to. Hey, chalk one up for the boys, huh? Well, there we go. That's that's it for the outline. Um, looks good. A um, little red, but not too bad. A few little touch-ups on that that I will hit. Um, looks like everything got covered. Looks great. What do you guys think? Yeah? Yeah? A plus? There we go. Well, maybe not an A plus, but new tattoo machine did pretty good. Not too shabby. Alright, well, let's go ahead and we'll throw some color on there. Um, that's going to be on the next one. Alright. Thanks a lot, guys. That's it for the black. Alright, tiny texture here. I'm going to put some color in this tattoo now. Um, I touched it up some. Um, made it a little bit darker. Uh, going to use one of my Chinese machines now. Um, as you can tell, there's a big difference in the sound uh, from the other one. Um, I'm going to use a five round liner for this one. Um, <laughs> funny thing happened to me. I was going to throw some water in my inks and I threw in some. Oh, it was funny, but I threw in different colors in them too, so on accident. But So I might end up with some funky looking colors, but that's alright. That's how you make different colors happen, I guess. Um, I guess we're just going to kind of go along and see what we get for colors and everything. So, here we go. Uh, See good enough or not? These small circles. Um, doesn't matter if you go over the lines or not. Um, just kind of work it in. Um, this here's a. It looks kind of brown, but it's a dark red. It's from Eternal. Um, I'm going to add another color in with this here. So, it's kind of okay. I'm going to add a, a color on top of it here. 
so it'll be alright. I'm going to add it on the edge, right along the edge of it, to give it a nice effect, I hope. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we're going to try it. I'm pretty good with colors. Um, my lines suck. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, my lining, my lining really sucks. My color I do okay with. Just one of those things, I guess. This is kind of how it goes. The tattoo shops, they call it pounding in the ink. And what pounding it in is, is you keep going over it again and again and again. And that's called pounding it in. And you want to do it, but you don't want to, each time that you go over it, you put it in a little more and a little more. But you don't want to pound it in too much to where it overwhelms the tattoo. You know, you don't want that to happen. Now me, when I do this, um, you'll notice I'm twisting my foot different directions to tighten it up. Down here by the ankle and stuff, um, you know the skin's so tight already you don't want to stretch it too much because it's already tight and it's so thin down here that that's just how it is um, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna squirt a little bit of water on it and that'll tell me exactly how it is now if you look at it it kinda looks a brownish color but that's a red and it actually came out looking exactly how I wanted it to. A really nice effect towards the center. All the way around I got my nice lines there and around my edges is all left how I wanted it. And I'm going to take a yellow and I'm going to highlight with the yellow maybe a blue, a light blue around it and I think I'll go ahead and do that now just to give it a nice look just to show you guys how that looks just in case my video quits on me again so you guys can see how that looks um, I don't know maybe I should do a pink or something huh no not a pink huh <laughs> that looked, it looked kind of kind of silly huh how about a light blue we'll do a light blue around it
other thing is, is I'm not overdoing it with the blue either. I'm not going through and I'm not doing every single bit of it with the blue either. I'm not, I'm not going to do every single leaf with the blue. I'm only doing certain pieces of it. I don't want to overwhelm it with the blue either. Because that would, that would ruin the effect of the blue too. So you don't want to do something like that and ruin that effect either. Because that would just make it look kind of gaudy too. You know, you don't want to do, do that. You know, so you want to watch how you how you work your you want to watch how you work your effects with your colors. You know, don't don't overdo your colors too much. giving it a nice effect in there. See how that's looking? It's giving it a nice effect. It's not too bright.